Hey, my name's Raymond, and I'm a creative professional from San Jose, California. And I moved to New York four years ago. Ready to go. This year, where are you at? With the New York Knicks, man. You are watching Running with Raymond, a show about what I do and who I run with. Good morning, guys. It is freezing right now. I think this is the first time you guys have seen me wear a beanie not on a run, but uh, it's pretty cold. Today, at least the first thing on today's list, I have to go fix my iPhone. <laughs> Why? Because a couple nights ago, I went to go get tacos with some of my Alley crew members it's right there at La Esquina. I dropped my phone, and this is what happened. Let me find my phone. Right here. You can see that? It's all cracked. So my phone has gone through so much. It fell like less than two feet. I was already sitting down. God, it's so cool. Yeah, it fell and then bang. Cracked screen. This is the first time I've ever like fully cracked an iPhone. Ever. I have to go to the I went to the iPhone store earlier this week to get an assessment and to see how much it costs. It's gonna be like $110 and some change. I'm not rich, guys. I work really hard for my money. And so when things like this, like cracking an iPhone screen and having to spend unnecessary funds where I could be using that for food. Oh my God. This dog is walking around with no leash. So, here's the Apple store. Uh, oh, it's a crack screen. Yeah. Do you have any backups of everything you need on the phone? Yeah, I just did this one. Have you ever gotten your screen replaced with this before? No, that's, uh, this is the first time I've ever cracked my iPhone screen ever, so. Oh. Yeah. I've also had people come in and, um, they've cracked their displays on the carpet, which I feel like is the worst. <laughs> That's very sad. <laughs> it's really sad. I feel so bad. I know. My phone has been taken away by the, by the Apple staff genius people, and they're going to do some magical repairs to my screen, and it's time for me to leave the fortress of Apple and go out to the real world where it's really cold. Got a button up first. So the reason I first started getting active, and by active I mean exercising, running, you know, trying to get fit, was because I was a fat kid when I grew up. When I first moved to America, I was like in first grade, first ever meal here was KFC. And so from that point on, I was no longer in the Filipino diet. I was in the fried food American diet. Get her in. It's a fire truck. That was cool. <laughs> so continuing on with the story, I was a fat kid growing up because I ate a lot of fried food all the time. I was tired of it. People made fun of me, and I couldn't move around as much as everyone else. And yeah, it was just not cool. In seventh grade, I decided to do something about my weight, and I joined my first school sports. I mean, I've been in outside sports teams before, but you know, I joined my first school sport, which was cross country, actually. So I joined cross country so that I could 
so someone could make me run. I wasn't gonna run by myself. So I joined cross country when I was in seventh grade and I was always last. I don't think there was a moment in any races or any practice where I was not last. So I was last pretty much the whole season. But I really don't, I really didn't care about winning or losing or all that stuff. I know that sounds really cliche, but I really, really didn't care. I just wanted to force myself to run and to be active. And then from that point on, I joined wrestling. When I went to high school, I did football, wrestling, and track. Well, kind of track. I didn't really run in track. I did discus and uh, shot put, which was a fat, fat man sports. <laughs> I was still fat. That is the reason why I run now. Because I think it's an amazing way to stay fit. It's an amazing way to explore the city around you and to run and to get to know a community. Before, if, if it was like three years ago, I would think I would be really insane for getting a, a smoothie and it's like really, really cold. But after spending some time here in beautiful New York, I have realized that it is okay to drink a cold smoothie on a very cold day. That's what I shall do. And that's what I'm gonna keep doing. <laughs> Around the neighborhood, there's um, this is little cupcake shop right on Mott and Prince, right? And Shepard Farley's work, the guy who makes Obey. I just recently saw this, so I thought it was really cool. Actually, let me... I can't display any emotions anymore because my face feels like it's frozen. Ooh. I don't think I could vlog in the cold for too long. I must find the sun. So I came home for a little bit, doing some uh, housework. I need to throw away. Man, I accumulate a lot of trash, so I need to uh, throw this box away. I've got a package and trash bags. And I just finished washing the dishes. Look at me, domesticated Ray. <laughs> Here we are. Back to the Apple store, picking up my phone. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a good one. You too. Yay! Nice and new and uh, uncracked and smooth. Look at all these messages I'm getting. <sighs> Feels nice. Don't drop your iPhone. And if you do, better pay the consequences and take up the responsibility for it if it breaks. So be careful. I'm gonna try really hard not to break my phone again. Really, really hard. I'm about to go to Sweet Greens right now and order up a salad because I told you guys about my fat story. So now I feel like I'm a little obligated to eat a salad now. I don't know. It's not a brand new year, brand new me, but I do want to feel good. And I feel like a salad will help out right now. And I'm hungry. I will see you guys later. I don't really have a question for you guys. But if you guys have any questions for me, go ahead and comment that down below and let me know. Anything about my past, what do you guys want to know? Let me know. Uh, I will answer you guys as best as I can. So comment. And I will see you guys later. This is Raymond. To finish running with Raymond. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Twitter. I'll see you guys later. Bye. And now you are watching Running with Raymond, a show about what I do and who I run with.
What's up guys? Tonight, I'm gonna do something that I have not done in such a long time. You know what that is? I'm